Hi, this is Nick from SC3000 Survivors and uh, I'm going to show you how to make up your um, binary image containing the 32 games that you want to stick on the um, Survivors multi-cart uh, just using a hex editor. Um, first thing you have to do obviously is find the ROMs that you want. Um, they're real easy to find on the net. Um, all you need to do is just go to Google, uh, just type in SC3000 or SG1000 ROMs, hit search and pretty soon you're going to find a pile of places that have ROMs on the net where you can go and uh, download the ones that you want to go and play. Um, so if I, um, I already have a folder here where I happen to have about 80 ROMs because um, that's around about how many um, there actually are available. Um, so what I'm going to do is first off I'm going to go and choose the 32 that I want and I'm going to copy them to a new folder. And I do that for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is because we're going to have to make a couple of changes to some of the files and I'm going to rename them and I don't want to you know, ruin my original copies. Um, so what I'll do just to make life easy here from my folder of the 80 odd in there, I'm just going to select um, select about 30 of them. There we go. And as you can see uh, down here, just um, as I'm just selecting different numbers in the corner there, Explorer is telling me the different numbers I got selected, so that makes my life nice and easy. But um, so I'll just grab those first 32, and I'll grab one more because there's something else I want to show you here. I'll grab an Arco Grand Prix. Okay, so I'm just going to go and copy this to my new folder over here. Okay, so I've got now I've got 33 ROMs in this folder. Now the uh, reason I um, copied the extra one is because you need to do a quick size check on this. Let's just go up here, I'll deselect these, sort by, whoops, go up to the top, sort by size. Okay, um, now your ROMs must be um, 32 kilobytes or smaller in size. Um, if you have a look here, there's a Monaco Grand Prix ROM which is 40 kilobytes in size. Um, that's no good. That's not going to work with our multi-cart. So I have to discard that. Um, the good news is, however, that um, there are plenty of other dumps of dumps of Monaco Grand Prix around, and you're bound to be able to find one that's actually the right size at 32 kilobytes. So I'll just get rid of this one because that ain't going to work. There we go. And if I have a look now, I should still. There we go, I've got my 32 items left. Okay, that's fine. Let's just sort by smallest size. Now, the other thing you're going to have to do is make sure that all these files are 32 kilobytes in size. If you have a look, some of the older ROMs here, like uh, Champion Tennis, Guzzler, which is an Othello Multivision game, Borderline, etc. You see, 8 kilobytes, 16 kilobytes. Um, that's going to cause us some, some problems because we're just going to use the hex editor to go and append all these things together. And if you're not 32 kilobytes in size, you can end up at the wrong point in the file and you're not going to be able to go and play them on the multi cart. So that's fine. So all we'll do here is we'll just, uh, we'll just fire up our uh, hex editor and we'll just copy these things over here. So let me just go and, and go highlight these. Now I'm using the uh, HXD hex editor here. Um, you can um, I'll I'll put the link up on the screen once I go and edit this. But um, yeah, it's a nice freeway editor and does ev it works really well. Does everything we need. Um, so what we're going to do is take these images and just make them a bit bigger. So if we have a have a look at, uh, at the files we've got here. Okay, what have we got? Baseball is a 16 kilobyte one. All right, we need that to be 32 kilobytes. So what we're going to do is baseball. We're going to go and here we're going to go to the end, so control end will get you to the end or just page down or whatever to get to the end of the file. We're going to go edit, insert bytes, and we're going to insert 4000 hex bytes, and we're going to fill it with FFs, and click OK. Yes, I want to proceed, because I'm adding some extra stuff to the file. Great. Now what we'll find here is um, Basically, the second half of the file is just um, filled up with these um, uh, with this um, binary fill, uh, which is just a command to uh, uh, to tell the um, uh, processor to go and reset back to the beginning of the file. Okay, so I've done that. I'll just go save, close this file, go to the next one. Champion Soccer is also a 16 kilobyte one. So edit, insert, 4000. Blo oops, sorry. Go to end, edit, insert. 4,000 hex bytes. Save. End. Edit. Insert. Save. End. Edit. Whoops. Insert. 4,000 hex. Yep. Save. Close. Now, here's the first one we've got. Champion Tennis, if we have a look back here, 
was actually an 8 kilobyte file so we're going to have to insert a different number of bytes. We still go to the end but we go edit, insert instead of 4000 hex bytes it's 6000 hex bytes. There we go, save, close. Uh, Guzzler is another 8k file so we'll go edit, insert, oops sorry, go end, edit, insert. Save. Borderline. End. Edit. Insert. This is a 16K one, so again 4000. Save. Oops. Close. End. Now Challenge Derby is. Oops. Uh, Challenge Derby is a 16K file. Fine. So we go end. Edit. Insert. 4000 because it's a 16k file. Right, save, close. Right, now if we go back here and we go and sort, okay, we go and sort this file apart from the fact that it's gone and stuck backup files in here, which we can just go and get rid of now. Back, 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 back. Yes, okay, we now find we've got 32 files and they're all. 32 kilobytes in size, which is just what we want. Now the final thing we want to check is, now we've got our 32 files, we just want to highlight them all, go properties, and what we really want to see is that it's exactly one megabyte in size. We want to see it's 1,048576 bytes. That's exactly one megabyte in size. If it's not that, um, you've got a problem and one of your files is the wrong size and you'll have to go and figure out which one it is and fix it. Because um, if they're not the right size, everything's going to be on the wrong offsets and probably half your games won't work. Okay, so we know that's going to work fine. That's cool. Alright, so we've gone and fixed that. Uh, next thing we're going to do is the alphabetical order check um, because the hex editor is going to burn these things in um, the, uh, well, basically in alphabetical order. And that makes what you, you need to know what order um, there in the ROM image for, um, so you can uh, so you know what position sticky dip switch is in. Now, as it happens, these are already pretty much in alphabetical order. But just to show you what I mean, um, see uh, this ROM here is called Castle the, so maybe I'll change it to the Castle. So that's fine. Now, just when I add it in, it'll appear in a different order on the list. Okay, so um, we've got our ROMs already, we've got our 32 ROMs, we're sitting there, we've checked the sizes right, um, we've fixed the size of ones that aren't right, now let's go and put it together. So I'll bring up my hex editor, okay, so this is HXD, yeah, nice little hex editor, so say um, you can get it from www.mh-nexus.de, um, very cool little freeware hex editor, works very nicely. Okay, so all I'm going to do is go File, New, and now I'm going to go Extras, File Tools, Concatenate, Add My Files. Now I just go and add all those files in the folder. See how the castle is appearing at the end there? Go open. Just expand this out a bit so you can see what I'm doing. There you go, the castle's down the end. If you really want, you can actually go and adjust the order that these things go in, but um, alphabetical, or alphabetical order is actually a nice, convenient one anyway, um, as you'll see in a minute. So that's fine, so just, and my output file name is going to be, whoops, sorry, move this up here. My output file name is going to be my, um, my ROMs dot bin. Save. Okay. All right. Now, if I just go up here and I have a look. Here we go, there's my roms.bin, and just I'll do the same similar thing I did before. I'll just click on it, right click, properties, and we should see that it is, yep, 1,048,576 bytes. That's exactly one megabyte in size, and that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now that is ready for burning. Now the only other thing we're going to do now is we're going to go across to my little Word document that I've got here, and we're going to make up a label for the front of the cartridge. Um, because you've got to remember, uh, basically you've got all these dip switches, there's thir 32 different positions the dip switches can be in. Um, you're never going to remember where all those games are unless you have a little label on the cartridge that tells you. So all I'm doing here is, um, again, my alphabetical order. Go, okay, My first one is Bank Panic. So I'll just go here, Bank Panic. Fine. 
And what I've already got over here, if you have a look over on this side, I've basically got these dashes and ones, and these are the positions the dip switches need to be in. And this is just binary counting. Um, forget about this last digit, my dip switch just happens to have six switches on it. If you only had five, you could get away with um, five digits over here. But this is basically naught, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just standard binary counting. But it's an awful lot easier just looking at the um, pictures and seeing which position the dip switches have to be in, rather than um, trying to figure out in your head what the binary uh, number for 17 is. So all I do is just go and fill out this table, bank panic, uh, black onyx, oops, bomb jack, etc. You get the idea. But then I can go and save it, I can go and print it out, I can cut it out, I can stick it to the um, front of my multi-cart, and then I've got a uh, really nice little uh, label on my multi-cart that tells me exactly what position the dip switches need to be in to go and play the game. Um, so yeah, that's a that's about all you need to know for actually going and making it up. Um, in the uh, next tutorial, we'll uh, go and show you how to go and uh, burn that image, we, that binary image we just made up onto your EPROM using your programmer. So, um, yep, good luck with that, and we'll catch you later. Bye.